Alright, so before we begin the video, I need to make a quick note. So I had just finished editing the video, and I clicked export, and so I went on YouTube to watch something while the video was compiling, and I learned of a recent controversy regarding Brother Near and Hypocrite Hunter 666, where Hypocrite Hunter also made a video responding to Stuttering Mania, Brother Near apparently took issue with it and left a comment criticizing him, and Hypocrite Hunter ended up deleting the comment, presumably to avoid criticism. Since college just started back up for me, I wasn't aware of this controversy when I was making the video, since I was kind of busy. As such, nothing in this video will reflect that recent controversy. Having said that, I still think most of my points against Stuttering Mania and Griffin Gaming still stand regardless, but just keep that caveat in mind when I talk about Hypocrite Hunter. Anyways, enjoy the video. Hey what's up guys, it's Thunderstruck115, and today we are going to be responding to a video by Stuttering Mania. A man who is quite clearly simping for his lord and savior, Griffin Gaming. The title of the video is Griffin Gaming is not a grifter, and as soon as I read the title, I knew exactly who he was trying to defend Griffin from. That being Hypocrite Hunter 666. And if you've never heard of him before, I'd highly recommend checking out his channel because he makes really good response content. And the reason why he's so butthurt is because Hypocrite Hunter 666 often refers to him as Grifter Gaming, aka the Great Grifter himself, aka Grifter Christ. And Stuttering Mania was quick to come to the aid of Grifter Gaming because he got butt hurt apparently, so anyways, let's go check this shit out. Hey guys, welcome back. If you read the title and are wondering who the people I'm about to discuss even are, here's the short version. Griffin Gaming is a YouTuber of the commentary variety who generally bases his content around whatever will get him the most views. He will make a video about a trending topic, maybe several videos, and share his opinion on said trending topic. And this has netted him massive success. No, Grifter netted success by roasting a bunch of motherfuckers on YouTube. 200,000 subs is nothing to sneeze at, and the other character in this farcical play is Hypocrite Hunter, a man whose entire personality seems to be based around hating on Griffin Gaming. A man whose entire personality seems to be based around hating on Griffin Gaming. Off to a flying start, aren't we? Sure, Hypocrite Hunter 666 makes a lot of videos responding to Griffin Gaming, but that doesn't mean that's his whole shtick. He's responded to many other people before, including Malcolmon, Hippozoned, Jim Sterling, and Quantum TV. Hell, he even defended Griffin once when he responded to Malcolmon. He just happens to make a lot more videos regarding Grifter Gaming, simply because Grifter is a lol cow who has a lot of bad takes on a regular basis. It's the same reason why Grifter Gaming makes a lot of videos on Crap Gamer, or why Kim Josh Un makes a lot of videos on Harmon Smith. Calling him pathetic, a grifter, a liar, a hypocrite, you know, the typical YouTuber insults. I mean, is he wrong though? And also, you're acting like Griffin doesn't use those insults all the time in his videos either. Okay, maybe the amount of times he's used Grifter as an insult can be counted on one hand, but like the rest of them is something that Griffin does all the time. So yeah, I'm gonna have to ask you to keep that same energy. But what am I doing here? Well, I think it's fascinating. Because if you look at their channels, aside from the obvious difference in production quality, Hippo Hunter's titles, thumbnails, and whatnot are are exactly the same format as Griffin's. Which is bizarre! You're acting like he's everything wrong with the internet, but are doing your very best to emulate him. I personally don't go out of my way to copy and act like people I despise, and the similarities are way, way too specific for this to be a simple coincidence. Yeah, because Hypocrite Hunter 666 has an issue with Griffin as a person and the way he behaves, rather than his style of content. Have you noticed that there are other plenty of YouTubers who make the same kind of response content as Griffin, you know, like Mischief, Kim Josh Un, Brother Near, Fritanga Plays, Oh No It's Alex, among others? Because it's almost like you can make this kind of response content on YouTube without being a walking, self-contradicting dumpster fire like Griffin is. In fact, Hypocrite Hunter even acknowledges this in his response to Quantum TV. Take a look. 
there's a problem with your behavior and I hope YouTube finds out about this category of YouTuber. Fratanga Plays, oh no it's Alex, fucking mischief, Griffin Gaming. You could have just said Griffin Gaming and I would have 100% agreed with you on this. Hippo Hunter has, conservatively, spent 14 and a half hours talking about Griffin. I calculated it. That's almost two work days. And this was 14 hours over how long a stretch of time, might I ask? Because if we look at this channel, you'll find that the first video where he responded to Griffin Gaming was uploaded in January of 2022, which was seven months ago. I don't know about you, but 14 hours over seven months does not seem that outrageous. And Griffin has, as far as I can tell, not mentioned him once. With yeah, because Griffin doesn't take kindly to criticism. Not to mention, Hypocrite Hunter is not exactly a very big channel, so I wouldn't be surprised if Griffin has never even heard of him before. And even if he did, he probably would slink away from responding to him if the fact that he backed down from a debate with Brother Near is anything to go by, instead of, you know, standing up for himself. Or maybe he's just afraid of getting ratioed into a oblivion because he knows his take is bad but he's just too proud to admit it which i think is really funny is there anything to hippocrates hunter's accusations the short answer is probably not i can't say for 100 percent certain because 14 and a half hours of video is not something i'm willing to sit through to prove somebody wrong on the internet especially content as generic and subpar as this is but i can say with 80 percent certainty that the vast majority of hippolyte hamstrings points are making mountains out of molehills i I can't say for 100% certain because 14 and a half hours of video is not something I'm willing to sit through to prove somebody wrong on the internet. So you just admitted that you don't watch his content, yet you want to accuse him of making mountains out of molehills, even though you haven't watched his content. Curious. Like hell, just watch one of his response videos, like, I'd recommend the one where he responds to Griffin's Vanguard stream, and you will see that he is not making mountains out of molehills, and it is in fact Griffin who's making the mole mountains. Or even if you don't want to watch it, then you could do what I do with Hypocrite Hunter as well as a bunch of other response channels like Brother New or Kim Josh Hoon or even Griffin himself. Usually I'll just put it on in the background and just listen to what they're saying while I'm playing a video game or something. Just seizing on any little thing and blowing it up to the skies, shouting it from the rooftops as if it's irrefutable proof that Griffin Gaming is indeed a cretin. Here's an excellent example. Watch this clip and listen to what he's saying. I just like, nah, bro, that's dumb. That's not a good take. Like, who am I insulting? Like, disagreeing with someone is not insulting them, bro. You know, grow up, put your big boy pants on. Not everyone who disagrees with you literally wants you to fucking die in a house fire, okay? I mean, not that I would be opposed to it, but anyway, you know, moving on from that shit. The point is, disagreeing doesn't mean you hate somebody, and it isn't an insult to disagree. Not insults, huh? Well, the clip you showed is from Griffin's response to Sean the Legend's response to Griffin's response to the Actman's Vanguard review. And you wanna know why he was responding to it? Among other reasons, Griffin was insulting his audience. And if you don't think they were insults, then what the fuck do you call these? Oh, you guys were in the actual development studio where you saw Treyarch's entire zombies team come over to Sledgehammer and make the game mode? Okay. Yeah. Sorry, man. Forgive me. I'll I'll concede to your expert opinion. Yeah, dude, it's, it's gonna physically pain me to see a gun with a scope that didn't exist yet. Like, sh the f this is the corniest motherfucker on planet Earth, bro. Touch some fucking grass, you absolute loser. <laughs> Reddit chuckles. R slash weaponry. Holy fuck, dude, this is such a neckbeard fedora tip moment. Oh my god. This man really just said fucking Kingdom Hearts. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Bruh. Literally one of the worst video game franchises of all fucking time. Jesus.
that's pretty clearly what he's getting at, and in this case I agree. It's not an insult to call somebody else wrong. But can you guess which part of this argument Hippo Hunter will choose to focus on? That's right, he takes the edgy joke Griffin made at the end of his comment, and if we interpret that comment as hyper-literally and as uncharitably as we possibly can, it means he literally wants people to die. And in case you think I'm exaggerating, he uploaded this clip with the title Griffin Gaming Wishes Death on Another YouTuber. The description and comments make it clear that he isn't joking, he is literally accusing him of wishing death on somebody else. I'm not going to spend much time explaining that this is obviously not meant to be taken seriously, because that would be a total waste. You know it was a joke, I know it was a joke, and this guy knows it was a joke. He's okay, if this was supposed to be a joke, then explain what I'm supposed to be laughing at here. Like, I don't have a problem with edgy humor, I really don't, in fact I kind of enjoy it myself. But, there's no setup here and there's no punchline. He just says he wouldn't be opposed to this dude dying in a house fire. Like, even if I didn't find it funny, if I could at least see that there was a setup and a punchline, then yeah, okay, fine. I wouldn't really have an issue with it. But I can't see it, and I've thought long and hard about it. So if there's something I'm missing, please say something. Now, is Hypocrite Hunter reaching? Maybe a little bit, but even disregarding Hypocrite Hunter, not being opposed to someone dying in a house fire just because you disagree with them over a fucking video game on the internet is not what I'd call a good look for Griffin. And this isn't even an isolated incident. I have two other clips of him saying similar things. Take a look. For real, man, this dude should just dolphin dive in front of a semi-truck. This dude should probably just fucking kill himself. It's just pretending not to so we can manufacture an ounce of controversy, pretend to be shocked, and get some views. The accusation of Grifter gets thrown around a lot by the hunter. He seems to think it's a silver bullet to take down Griffin once and for all, and I get it, okay? His name starts with the same four letters. Very clever. You get one applause from me. Just keep this in mind, folks. He says he gets the joke Hypocrite Hunter's making, but now he's gonna contradict himself, like, right now. But he isn't. And I don't say that to defend his honor or whatever, but because I think it's literally not true. And that when I see someone perpetuating lies, I start to get annoyed. You see, the fundamental trait that all grifters share is dishonesty. They play on your sense of right and wrong, your empathy. They manipulate and trick people out of money, or manipulate and trick their online audiences to get money. Yes, it's true that Griffin will often make videos about topics he doesn't particularly care about, just to grow his channel and get more views and money. But that doesn't make him a grifter, especially because Griffin has repeatedly and constantly stated in his videos and on his live streams that he is only doing videos for money. Grifters don't do that. They need you to believe that they are true to whatever cause they are falsely championing, or to believe that their self-help books are worth anything. No grifter would openly admit that they just want money, because that would expose them for what they are. Sure, he doesn't fit the textbook definition of a grifter, but that doesn't really matter, because like you said earlier, it's a fucking joke. But still, it has been proven that this dude lies to his fucking audience. Like, the whole Discord drama was him lying to his audience. And being a massive hypocrite, might I add. Where he tried to hide the fact that he was simping for a moderator, hiding the evidence by nuking the entire goddamn Discord server, and then trying to pass it off that she was trying to come onto him and not the other way around. Additionally, according to Brother Near, people would actually pay Griffin in order to be a moderator on that server. People in his server literally pay to be a mod there, and then do fuck all to actually live up to making that money worth anything. Now, I can't verify this for myself since, again, the server's been nuked so I can't look for myself, but historically Brother Near has been pretty reliable at this sort of thing, so I'll take his word for it. Oh, and while I'm on the topic of Brother Near, did you know that he made a video calling out Griffin for his poor handling of the Discord server and how it was a complete clusterfuck? And what does Griffin do? He deflects blame onto Brother Near. Look at this. Outside of his personal life, his Discord servers have been dumpster fires due to his mod team evading the rules and constantly circle jerking Griffin. 
But yet, not once in what, like the six or seven months at least you were in there, did any of this ever come up until now. But, you know, what can you do about that one, man? Selective outrage at its finest. As you can see in that clip, Griffin is trying to deflect any sort of responsibility for managing his Discord server onto Brother Near, when in reality, Brother Near is not responsible for managing Griffin's Discord server. Griffin should have been the one taking charge. But instead of admitting to his L's, he tries to manipulate people by deflecting that onto Brother Near. So, yes, he absolutely does manipulate his audience. Hell, he even had me fooled for a while. Where is the manipulation on this channel? In the clickbait titles? Clickbait titles and thumbnails are like advertisements in a shopping mall. They need to be eye-catching and exaggerated in order to do their job. Is it manipulation to talk about a topic you don't particularly care about in order to get money? When did Griffin sign a contract stating he must care about any video he makes? You're acting like he's broken some promise to be true to his heart or whatever. But when did Hypocrite Hunter ever say anything of that sort? He never made a promise of that sort. Or is it manipulation when people freely donate money of their own accord in his live streams? Money he does not ask for and makes clear he doesn't need. Which is another point in his favor, by the way. Grifters will never admit they don't need your money. Whether it's campaign funds, sales of books, or just straight up donations, grifters try hard to make you believe that they can't keep doing what they do without your money. I get it. Okay, his name starts with the same four letters. Very clever. You get one applause for me. Now he's trying to shit on Hypocrite Hunter because Griffin doesn't fit the exact definition of a grifter. Which, yeah, I suppose that's true. But you already mentioned earlier, you understand it's a fucking joke. And yet now you don't seem to understand it's a joke. And unlike Griffin's dying in a house fire quote unquote joke, this one actually works because 1. Griffin is obsessed with money. Fact. 2. Griffin has lied to his audience before. Fact. Number 3. Griffin and Grifter start with the same four letters. I guarantee you, if his username was not Griffin Gaming, then Hypocrite Hunter probably wouldn't be calling him Grifter Gaming. Because, again, it's a clever play on words. It would be like if you were to call me Thundercuck. Like, am I a cuck? No. But it's a clever play on words, so it works. They play on a sense of obligation to get what they want. Sure, Griffin is happy to receive donations, and he'll always accept them. But he has a full-time job and plenty of money and makes that clear. People don't donate to him out of a sense of obligation or because he's tricked them somehow. They donate so that he'll read their chat message out loud in his live stream. This is part of a larger phenomenon on YouTube where certain people are under the impression that if you take sponsorship deals, run ads on your videos, have merchandise, or whatever, then you are soulless and evil. God oh, funnily enough, I have the perfect clip for that. Sub, I do just want to give a special shout out to all the motherfuckers on YouTube that literally have taken Raid Shadow Legends ads and sponsorships promoting a literal pay-to-win mobile game that are now calling out Diablo Immortal for being a pay-to-win mobile game. So I just want to say, if any content creator out there is talking shit about Diablo Immortal and the fact that it's pay-to-win, acting like this is the worst thing to ever happen in the video game industry, if those motherfuckers at any point have ever done a sponsorship for Raid Shadow Legends, just know that the only issue they have with Diablo Immortal is that they didn't get fucking paid enough by Activision to talk about it. Plain and simple. The Guys, grow up. Profiting off your own hard work isn't soulless, and prioritizing money when making videos isn't evil. It's sensible. I could easily have 10 times my current subs if I threw everything I had into making fast-paced commentary-style videos on trending topics. But I can't focus on a project unless I care, and a lot of trending topics on YouTube kind of bore me. But back to the actual, uh, topic, no. Griffin is not a grifter. He makes content for the purposes of entertainment and money. That's it. But here's the thing. Manufacturing controversy, making mountains out of molehills, creating hours and hours and hours of videos that are mostly just video rips of somebody else's content, all for the purpose of convincing people that you are the one guardian of YouTube, standing up against the big bad commentary channel. I mean, if I was to describe Hypocrite Hunter in one word, all I can say is... Grifter. You know, I find it ironic that you're trying to call Hypocrite Hunter a grifter, 
when you literally spent the last few minutes trying to convince us that Griffin Gaming isn't a grifter because he doesn't fit the textbook definition of a grifter. However, Hypocrite Hunter fails to meet the first basic requirement of being an online grifter, soliciting money from other people on the internet. Hell, his videos aren't even monetized. But anyways, his video ends there, so I guess the moral of the story is Griffin is allowed to call out other people on the internet, but when someone calls out Griffin on the internet, it's suddenly a problem. And before I leave, I just want to say this. Griffin Gaming is different from a lot of other YouTubers because, unlike those other YouTubers, Griffin can't handle criticism. He spurs the fuck out when other people hate a game that he likes, like we saw in his Vanguard stream. He spurs the fuck out when someone likes a game that he doesn't like, as we saw in his response to the one boom. Compare this to some other YouTubers who can agree to disagree, like Kim Jashun, Brother Near. Hell, speaking of Brother Near, I was actually having a discussion with him in the comments section of his most recent video the other day, where he said that he didn't really like Black Ops 4 all that much, whereas, if you know me, you know I love the game. And you know what, we were able to have a nice discussion about it. I guarantee you though, I would not be able to have that kind of a discussion with Griffin, because he would just flip the fuck out. So yeah, anyways, that's gonna be about it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more, and tell me what you think of this Grifter Gaming simp. Anyways, that's it. Peace!